This is José Adolfo Macías, better known as Fito, the leader of the powerful Los Choneros gang in Ecuador. He was serving a long sentence for murder, drug trafficking and organized crime in this maximum security prison in the poor city of Guayaquil. But on Sunday, when soldiers raided the center as part of a government crackdown, authorities said he was nowhere to be found. The government launched a major operation to recapture him, so far with no results. In an operation involving more than 3,000 people, the prison has been raided in search of the most wanted prisoner, and the operation continues. A notorious criminal suspected of having played a role in the assassination of presidential candidate Fernando Villavicencio last year, Fito has often defied authorities. He has escaped prison before and recently appeared in this music video, partly filmed inside the jail and sung by his daughter, glorifying his criminal exploits. Following Fito's escape, incidents have been reported in several prisons across the country. Inmates were seen standing on roofs as they held prison guards hostage inside, threatening them with knives. Mr. President, please reconsider your decisions. Don't let yourself be driven by impulses and false expectations. This is the first major prison crisis for the recently elected President Daniel Noboa, a banana empire here with little political experience who took over in November promising to reduce violence. On Monday he announced a two-month state of emergency. What we are seeing in the country's prisons is the result of our decision to confront them. That is why the government has taken actions that will allow us to regain control of the prisons that have been lost in recent years. But some analysts say the president's plan is failing. It seems like they are facing the crisis, repeating the same recipe of the previous government. It has been proven that declaring the state of emergency is not an efficient way to contain crime. Homicides keep growing in Ecuador, and there is a risk that we will remain the most violent country in Latin America in 2024. In recent years, Ecuador has been living through an unprecedented security crisis fueled by drug trafficking and that authorities have failed to address. These latest developments seem to suggest more troubles ahead. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.